In my second video for the, I guess you call it, shipping container house is what I'm probably going to be naming it. Um, I was just telling you guys in a previous video, you know, it was my introduction, let you know what was going on. And I did mention that I was going to start trying to show you guys exactly what I was going to do for that whole, like, not having a lip to have my wood sit on, on this side. So I figured out, you know, the bottom has lips. As you can see, the beams on the bottom of it, there's one there one there and I have one over there so I'm gonna do I measured out it's about 15 inches from the wall of this right here to the other wall so what I did just to make sure I could make it fit I put 14 and a half I'm gonna test that out if not I probably put it 14 and three three-fourths of an inch so um, We'll go ahead. I'm going to cut a piece right now. I have it measured out for 14 and a half inches right here. I'm going to cut this piece. And like I said, this is all recycled wood. I got this with the shipping container because they were just going to throw it away anyway. And it basically, I don't know what this is actually is. I'm saying I think it was like benches, wood benches or something. But um, basically, they're like two by fours. They're light, but they're very sturdy. Just like that would, so it works out great. And um, so that's what I'm gonna start doing now. I, all I do is just take out these screws here and there. So it gives me the two by fours that I need right here. And uh, I got small little two by four pieces too, so we're all good. That's another two by four piece. I was just trying to see something, but it isn't. I don't know if it's gonna work out or not. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make some uh, frame pieces out of these woods using that frame, the lips of the frames. So that way I could just build up from there to have the wood sit on that instead. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start having people record it while I'm doing everything. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cut this piece. I got a... This is just a regular fold in and fold out dinner table thing you get like at a Walmart or something. And I have plenty of like grapplers basically. Like this is a. What's it called? The adjustable lock wrench, I guess. And um, basically, I'm just going to use it to hold the wood down. I have another one in the house that actually works for like wooden tables and stuff, but um, I'm just going to use this one instead because I don't feel like running all in the house and going to grab that one. As long as it can lock on, we're all good. Yep. So it won't go nowhere. So this right here is 14 and a half inches and I'm going to put it underneath this lip right here. And since if you could see that this wood has some grooves in it, it looks like made from like a uh, rotary Dremel thing. I forgot the name of exactly the machine that it can do that with. But anyway, I'm flipping it upside down so it doesn't have to work. It doesn't have to work but yeah, see that? That works out just great. See, 14 and a half feet did great. Four, I mean, 14 inches and a half did perfect for that. So, what I'm going to do is step on it, see how much weight it can hold. 
this out of the way. Okay, let's see here. Anyway, it's 14, you can see that, 14 and a half inches. And how to get it in there, all you gotta do is just put it in, turn it, and then it'll just sit right in there. It works for it. See, the good thing is, the frame is already gonna be at set at like basically 15 inches apart from each other. So 15 to here, 15 to here, 15 to there. So 14 and a half, this should work for every single one. See, perfect. So, let me step on it. Make sure it's good. Yeah. Perfect. Nice and sturdy. And with extra of these down on here, I won't have to worry about that. Then what I'll do is, using a two by four, I'll just set it up like that. Now you see how it's kind of a little higher. It's about, hmm, I'll say a fourth of an inch higher than the frame is. Maybe a half inch on there. And what I have to do is just cut this down or cut the basically the frame of uh, the two by fours from two by four to like a one and a half. I mean, two, or no, yeah, one and a half. Well, almost like a one and a half. So instead of two by fours, it'll be like one and a half by four, which isn't a big deal as long as it has because you want to make sure that it's flush because that's what you're sitting your floor on and you want to make sure that the floor is you know leveled out correctly you don't want it having lops and you want everything to be at an even level but uh yeah so basically i'm gonna go ahead and cut some more out of this of uh, 14 and a half inches and start making like a basis for all this and build up from there or i may be able to instead of cutting that Let's see, I stack two two by fours on top of each other. I want to see that first. Okay, I got two pieces of two by four. Let's see if that'll sit flush. Ah, perfect. So that's great. Two two by fours on top of each other fits perfect. So there's no need to cut anything extra. So I'll just make one two by four on the bottom. That would be 14 and a half inches. Well, not just one, I'll make a bunch of them, but on the bottom, all the way on the bottom will be 14 and a half inches, and then I'll have from that one, two two by four stand on top of each other, drill those all into this one. So it'd be like me drilling, what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna show everything, but I'm gonna just tell you. So one of these will be right here, right? So, bam, bam, drill, 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 drill. I'll put like maybe two or four in, I don't know exactly how many. Doesn't matter, as long as it just stays stationary. And then after that, put another one on top of that and then drill that one into the top one. So basically it's stacking the wood on top of each other to make it flush. So now that I got that situated, I'm gonna go ahead and get started, put everything together, and then come back, show you guys my finished result.